that my blood type isn't needed. That, that's not a good thought process because you never know where there is a shortage. Give blood irrespective of your blood type. Garrett I, does donating blood hurt? If I sneeze, sometimes my rib hurts. So I guess it's subjective, but like if you squeeze the underside of your arm, if you pinch it right here, that's approximately what you're gonna feel when you feel the needle. So it's not a big deal at all. In fact, when you compare the good that comes from you donating blood to that small little pinch sensation for a second, it's just the benefits are so good on this side. Amy Miller, how much blood can you lose before you pass out or die? Pass out is hard because Really, the reason you pass out is because your blood pressure drops or because you don't have enough circulating blood from blood loss. If you lose 40 to 50% of your blood, like you're probably gonna go into cardiac arrest where your heart stops or your brain fails or your other organs fail. Sounds kind of dark, but that's why we need blood transfusions so that we can transfuse blood in order to keep patients alive. Caleb, where does blood slash plasma get taken from? Well, if you're donating, it gets taken from you. Well, I guess more specifically, it gets taken from your inner elbow area. Hector Gutierrez, what is plasma? Sounds like a science experiment, right? Plasma, nerd coming out, sorry. Plasma is actually just a clear straw colored liquid that remains in the blood once you take out the red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and other cellular components. But it does make up 55% of your blood. So it's the biggest component and it contains salts, enzymes, antibodies, and even proteins. Connie Sue, what are the requirements to donate blood or plasma? Well, it depends what kind of donation you're looking to make, plasma, platelets, whole blood. You usually have to be above the age of 16, weigh above 110 pounds in most cases. And again, this will vary state by state. And obviously you have to be in good health and feeling well. Dale Gustafsson, why is donating plasma or blood important? Because you're helping other people, like you're saving lives. One blood donation actually helps three other people. And I know everyone's first thought is trauma, car accidents, shootings, stabbings, all this stuff. That's true. There's also individuals who need it for other medical conditions. Think cancer, think COVID-19. My mom, when she was diagnosed with cancer, she needed transfusions quite often. So you're helping so many people who without your blood would lose their lives or potentially would suffer. Danny R01, can I donate if I have tattoos? Well, if you got your tattoo in a regulated center and you're in a state that has regulated centers, you're good, you don't have to wait. However, if you did get a tattoo in a state that is not regulated, you should wait three months after getting that tattoo. They are gonna ask you all these questions and give you all the guidance before you do the donation process anyway. When you are going to an unregulated facility, there's always the fear of shared needles. And in that case, shared needles can mean shared blood infections like hepatitis. Tony F, how often can I donate blood? Whole blood, 56 days, just like I told you earlier. Platelets every seven days, up to 24 times a year. And if you're doing the AB Elite Plasma donation, you can do that every 28 days, up to 13 times a year. I did the math real fast. Mr. Craig, how long will my body take to replace what was donated? Well, plasma is replaced usually in about 24 hours, and red blood cells take about four to six weeks to fully recover. Remember, that's why we give you the 56 days in between whole blood donations. We want the red blood cells to recover. Cole Weiss, can you still donate blood or plasma if you've had COVID-19 or the vaccine? If you've been vaccinated with Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, you are good to donate. Don't even think about it, just go and donate. If you've recovered from COVID-19 and it's been 14 days and you're feeling great, go ahead and donate. The only COVID specific circumstance where you shouldn't be donating is if you're actively sick within that 14 day period or you're under a specific quarantine because you've been exposed to someone who has COVID-19. In fact, if you've recovered from COVID-19 and it's been more than 14 days, you may have valuable antibodies in your plasma.